Hey loves, thanks for clicking on this Disney Dreamlight Valley speed build. If you are new here, hi, I'm Chazels Renee and I appreciate you being here with me today. If you are one of my lovely returning friends, thank you for returning to another one of my videos. And if you are already subscribed, please consider doing so, especially if you keep returning. Not only will you be helping my channel to grow, but you will also help me reach my goal of 500 subs to start lives, and I want you all to join in with me on all my videos and fun. So I don't know about all of you, but I've been getting a lot of bathroom furniture from Scrooge. So I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to do a bathroom build. So let's get started with this elegant master bathroom speed build. And if you enjoyed this build, don't forget to give it a like on your way out. All right, let's start this build off with some wallpaper and flooring. You guys know that I typically always do an accent wall in all of my speed builds. And of course, this one is no different. So for my accent wall in this bathroom build, I decided to go with the marble and gold diamond tile wallpaper. And for the rest of the walls, probably one of my favorite wallpapers in the game as of the moment is going to be the starry Dimash wallpaper. And then for the flooring, I went ahead and used the green watercolor honeycomb tile. Again, this is just like the pink one, which is just so beautiful whenever the light touches it. It just gives off a beautiful glisten. So this bathroom is going to be split into four sections. The very first section is going to be the main toiletry area. And we're going to start it off with the marble side tables. And these are going to act as the bathroom sink counters. For the sink, I went ahead and chose the most elegant and beautiful sink, in my opinion, in this game, the Corona sink. And then I just added the Till Marble Shower Stall. And then I had to use that beautiful Golden Beauty and the Beast themed bathtub. So a bathroom wouldn't be a bathroom without a toilet. I went ahead and chose the simplest toilet that was going to match with anything in the room. So I chose the white porcelain toilet. I then place the Wonder Double Cupboard right above it for extra toiletry items. I then place the Mirror of Gilded Dreams above the Corona Sink. Then I added a couple of items to the walls being the Bridge Painting as one, the Romantic Painting as the other one, and then I went ahead and added the Simple Wall Lamps on each side of the mirror just for some lighting. A bathroom definitely needs at least one window, so I went ahead and added the arched window right above the bath. Now I am just adding some small item details, one being the Norwegian spruce water bucket right by the bathtub, the birch toiletry basket on top of the counter sink, along with the melted candle set, the cologne, the coral jewelry stand, the orange orchid in a pot, and then I also added the Norwegian spruce robe shelf in blue on the side of the toilet, and then I added a room divider to separate the areas. I then finished off this area with the luxury snowflake rug. So moving on to the next section of this build, which is going to be the vanity area. I could have used any of the two vanities that we get from Scrooge's shop, but honestly, in my opinion, they were just both too small and the mirrors weren't as big either. So I decided to create my own using a combination of the craft desk and the mirror of gilded dreams. 
I then went ahead and used the oak shelf of potions for all of our hair and makeup products. Um, I've been using this shelf until I get the daisy shelf with all of those items on it. I have yet to receive it, so fingers crossed we get that soon, but until then, I will be using the oak shelf of potions. I went ahead and placed down the philodendron plant in the blue pot for some greenery and then use the corona wardrobe in the corner and then I first placed down the vintage wooden dresser but I found out you cannot place any items on top of it so I just went ahead and changed that out for the round wooden dresser and then I went ahead and placed mother Gothel's mirror right next to it for our full length mirror and then I added a few items on top of that round dresser one of them being the ornamental palm fond plant and then the other one being the sun drop cloche. I then added a pink hair dryer to our vanity just to let everybody know that yes this is where we do our hair and our makeup. Before I move on to my last area which is going to be my sauna section I just placed down one last item which is the Wander combination cupboard and I placed this right next to the shower just to hold all of our extra bathroom items. I then used the vine wall for separation from the bathroom section and the sauna section. I then added the indoor vertical fountains just because I felt like it made the sauna area more relaxing and just added to all of that tranquility. I then added the arch window in the center and then I added a few last minute items as well like the Norwegian spruce robe shelf that's going to hold all of our robes and then our luxurious robe hanger. And then I added the bronze hot steam rocks, which is going to be the heat source for our sauna. I then went ahead and used the carved marble benches as our seating area. And then I added the tall potted plant, the elegant piano bench, and dustbin as a few last minute items. Some more last few items that I added was one being the custom rug that I made, the minimalist gold ceiling lights that I placed above our vanity, the chandelier on the ceiling, and lastly, the tropical ceiling vines in two of the corners. Alright loves, this concludes my elegant master bathroom speed build. I hope you all enjoyed it and found some inspiration to start your very own bathroom build. If you enjoyed this speed build and want to see more, then please give this video a like and subscribe. 
because not only does it show me support, but it will also be helping my channel to grow and reach my 500 sub goal to start lives with you all. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. And until the next one, loves, have a great day. Bye-bye.